and it's done by hey 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 there we go fireworks hey 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 Four oh five. Hit my time by the lights. Yes, sir. Uh huh. Yeah. Hey y'all, I'm just here catching my vibe. <laughs> I'm just driving here. I just finished dinner with uh, some friends I haven't seen since COVID. Woo! They lived in LA the last time I saw them, but now they're Vegas residents. We tried out this new Korean spot for food and drinks, and it was rad and gnarly. Video of this new Korean spot coming up next week, so stay tuned. They bought dinner tonight, uh, they're a couple, so I'm like, hey, let me get there to tomorrow. There's this new restaurant on the strip that I want to try, so join me. Meet me in our spot, guys. Let's do it. In the meantime, let me continue to catch my vibe here. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I want to head to the hotel. I'm just crashed for now, and I'll see you tomorrow. Caught a vibe. Oof. Now that's how to vibe. All right. I'm on the 31st floor here at the Cosmopolitan on the balcony looking out of the strip can't you see because i hear there's a new sheriff here on the strip an og an og i haven't been to in many many years since the 90s olive garden hiding behind that sign back there i'm not italian but i have an italian cousin who loves it this is my cousin giorgio from italy buongiorno <laughs> wow. He knows Italian food like nobody else. Hmm. So, Did he just give it the eyebrow? Feast, right away he wanted a tour of Italy. Three of the foods Italians love most. Lasagna classico, chicken parmigiana, and creamy fettuccine alfredo. Plus, all the salad and breadsticks you want, all for $9.95. That's Hospitaliano. You'll love how Italian our Italian is. She thinks you're handsome. The Olive Garden. When you're here, you're family. Ah, the memories. Uh, let's turn back the clock to the 1990s. Uh, my aunt used to take me to Olive Garden all the time when I was in junior high school in the early 1990s. Um, but anyhow, buongiorno. Here we go. Uh, the new Target over there opened up. And I'll be honest with you, I know I messed up here because I was trying to live stream for the first time in my life. And I told you I'm going to uh, Olive Garden here. Okay, <laughs> I guess no one heard. And by the way, Hard Rock bought Mirage. So pretty soon, Mirage will turn into Hard Rock, which is... Uh, okay, Hard Rock, the hotel turned into Virgin, but the one in Mirage will turn into Hard Rock. Long story short, I'm a little drunk, but here we go. Uh, you could dress for less, but we're going to go to Olive Garden right now. And I'm over there somewhere. Oh boy. If you're still here watching, uh, comment below, say hello, subscribe, push that like button on a brand new channel like this. It does make a huge impact. Thank you. And it's right across the street from Park MGM, guys. Let's go check it out. Let's go. Check this out, guys. This is... Check this out. Wow. You guys, out of the way. Excuse me. Thank you. Look at this. This is Olive Garden. Yeah, yeah. I, I told you I'm, I'm gonna do this. Look at this. I actually. Look! Look at this space. I haven't been here in 20 years, but once I found out it opened, and my buddy here, who grew up in LA, never been, never been to Olive Garden. So he's never been to Olive Garden. And he moved to Las Vegas recently. So I'm like, you know what? Olive Garden will open up, let's do it. He's like, okay. And for the record, he sounds exactly so like he, that. Look at this. Wow, that's amazing. I compared prices for this menu with the local branches of Olive Garden. And there's a maybe one to three dollar surcharge for being on the strip which is beyond fair and understandable. But back in my days, and a shout out to my aunts who used to take me to uh, Olive Garden all the time. And back in the days, this is what I would order all the time. 
So you get a little lasagna, some chicken parmesan, and some afraid some noodles. And it's 24 bucks here in Las Vegas in 2022. This is you're on the strip. Look at this. The prices are very fair for being here on the strip. It's right across the street from Monte Carlo, which they call Park and Gym now. But you know, you, you do what you do. And on the top floors, it's a Nomad Hotel. And you know, check out my video. <laughs> it's called Nomad Hotel. Especially if you used to play Resident Evil, the PlayStation 1 game, the original one, the classic game. All right, all right, just for the record, the sound effects you just heard was for the video game Resident Evil. <laughs> it's not coming from the restaurant. I'm just trying to promote my Nomad Hotel video. Wow, what a beautiful, large venue here on the strip. The space is grand. Uh, it's vibrant. It's bright. Uh, it's Las Vegas Strip. It doesn't feel uptight. It's very comfortable. It is an olive garden after all. Hey, check it out, little bar. Wow, look how... No, this place is huge. It's noted that uh, it took about $4 million to develop this olive garden here on the Strip. This is a live stream from Tuscany. <laughs> oh boy, I'm laughing by myself, but uh, right. do you know that we've had a few drinks before coming over here little booth if you want to get romantic oh this is cool wow this place is huge another bar over here because they can uh, this olive garden is about 12,000 square feet and it could fit about 400 guests so if you want to throw a big party I guess you gotta do it here and I asked what this used to be and they told me it used to be a steakhouse oh and while we're back here uh, parking situation they do not validate even if you park here at the showcase mall it's about twelve dollars or so to park over here but uh i just suggest park at the park mgm and just walk over here from there hey hey, hey. check it out dog you know what i'm saying so here's the formula of uh olive garden so if you got three people they'll give you one two three and technically they're supposed to only serve you one more extra but however, our server gave us one more extra. Obviously, you could ask for extra more, but that's the formula. All right, cool story. Moving on. What kind of soup is that over there? Oh, it's Toscana. Oh. I thought it was clam chowder, but it's not. <laughs> and we came for this. How's that bread, Skittles? <laughs> oh, you kidding, kidding, kidding. <laughs> oh, shit, look at that. <laughs> Magical. Uh, wow, this soup looks awesome. Um, Skittles is a name that my friend is known by, or was known by, by millions of people. Uh, more on that later, but uh, let's go back to the food for now. Just like the 90s, I used to get minestrone, <laughs> minestrone. Yeah, it tastes like the 90s. Hope that was soup that was dangling off. More bread? Yes. Oh, yes, please. Check it out, y'all. Just like the 1990s. This is the tour of Italy. Lasagna, fettuccine, and chicken parmesan. Just how I remember it. And even back then, they said, hey, the plate is hot, watch out. But dude, I could hold this forever. Look. All right, it's hot. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Woo, beep. Portion is very generous here. Uh, perfect if you want to split it if you're a couple. Uh, and I don't think they make a huge deal out of it here at Olive Garden. Wow, it tastes like the 1990s, uh, just as I remember it. And my buddy was never here. They copied the same thing. 
Can you cut the uh, noodles, please? <laughs> All right, you can. <laughs> yo, 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 what's up? Let's go. Are you an OG? All right, Olive Garden, let's go. Let me taste this. Yup, uh, I'm enjoying this right now. Oh yeah, just as a remember this, guys. Let's try some chicken parmesan. Boom. Wow. Okay. I ain't mad at you. Yeah, you know what? Just as I remember. And I think it's even more flavorful. I guess because it's on the strip. Wow. I am so full. Back in the 90s, when I was, last time I had here in the 90s, when I was in high school, I would feel the same way. Like, I would get full at the end, but I would have a little bit more reserve, and I would always finish it. Because when my aunt took me to the Olive Garden, you know, I don't want to leave anything because she's paying for it. So I didn't want to be disrespectful. So I will always force myself to finish it. But here, I'm full and I'm going to... I'll take another bite of this. One take. Get out. You just pay over here. It's all good to go. This is perfect for families, young couples, old couples, people like in my situation, and maybe even tourists from Italy because maybe you want to try something that you can't get at home. <laughs> yeah and that's it thank you for joining me i hope you enjoyed this one um by the way service was top notch incredible service hopefully they don't change after the honeymoon period how'd you enjoy your first uh olive garden experience thumbs up oh <laughs> Alrighty then, if you're still in here, subscribe, push that like button, uh, comment below to say hello, what's up? Uh, thank you for watching and uh, come again. Bye bye.